Hey guys, welcome to Anarchy Slipknot Man's channel. Welcome to Anarchy Slipknot Man's channel, and I am Anarchy Slipknot Man. And today I'm doing an interview with Juan Comparis, aka Evil Slatter 13. So, um, if you're asking why I'm holding the mask like this, is because I actually can't talk if I don't do it. See, this whole, yeah, so, that's why I'm holding the thing like this, it's like, on my face, literally on my face, so, yeah, uh, it's a pretty sick mask, anyway, so, now, um, the first question I want to ask you is, um, how you doing, dude, like, how's everything, like, going? How am I doing? I'm doing pretty good, um, I don't really consider myself happy at the moment, and I don't really, I don't really consider myself sad. So I'm kind of in between. How are you doing? Oh, is that so? Um, yeah. Well, things have happened, and I'm kind of not in like the good mood either, you know. But um, yeah, I'm glad you're doing all right, dude. Anyways, um. I am doing fine, thanks for asking. I am actually struggling with these college applications right now. And, um, yeah, I'm just living life, you know. Um, yeah, what kind of camera do you use, dude? What camera do I use? I use a Sony Cybershot 12.1 12, 12 megapixel camera. And that's what I'm using right now, obviously. Yeah, that's a pretty decent camera. Uh, I think my friend has that same camera, but uh, yeah, I own a Canon 7D camera, and that's what I'm filming with right now. Anyways, um, like, do you play on Xbox or like PS3 or anything? And if you do, what is your favorite game? I actually own all three consoles. Um, I have the Xbox 360, I got the uh, PlayStation 3, I got the Nintendo Wii, uh, I even got the uh, Sony PSP and the um, Nintendo DS, believe it or not. But I actually don't play those a lot, you know. The most, the, uh, the console that I play most is actually Xbox 360. And uh, when it comes to my favorite game, that's a hard, um, I'll probably say, I don't really have a favorite game, uh, I'm more of the hardcore gamer, you know, I'm actually mixed, so, I guess when it comes to first person shooters, I guess I'll say either, you know, Halo Reach, maybe Call of Duty, you know, I don't really know, you know, when it comes to simulation, you know, Sims 3, maybe, um, racing, I don't really have a favorite racing game. That's a good question though. What's my favorite game? Because I actually don't know. So, sorry about that. Oh uh, yeah, um... Yeah. It's, it's alright. Like, I don't even have a favorite game either. But like... Um, you know, I just play them. Like, for the hell of it. And um... Well, I guess I do have a favorite game. I think... I, I think I have to lean to um, Rock Band, the Rock Band series, and like Guitar Hero. So yeah, and I own all three consoles plus the PSP and the Nintendo DS. 
Yeah. Back barely play them anyways. I don't have the time for them anymore now. So, yeah. Alright, so, tell me about, like, mask making and, like, how it turned out to be a big part of your life. Um, art, uh, ever since I was born, my mom told me that I will, I will use my hands for good, and that's actually art, as I grew up. Um, when I was little, around three, three years old, I believe, I've been, uh, actually already been drawing with, you know, crayons, and I've actually, at that time, sculpting with Play-Doh. Uh, thanks to my grandpa, so I'd like to thank him for that. So I've always had a thing for art ever since I was ch ever since I was a child, yeah, especially horror. So those two combined, like peanut butter and jelly, and this is what I became. <laughs> you know, 15 years later, this is what I became. Um, for mask making, uh, I've only been mask making for two years, I believe, and um. At that time, I actually got inspired by a mask maker here on YouTube, and everyone, you guys know him as Alex Wood, aka a Gotham Cloth, so I was actually looking at his videos at that time, and I saw his, um, his Koi Volume 3 mask, and the uh, Car Crash Clown, and instantly I fell in love with it, you know, I was, and I, I told myself, um, you know, if this guy can make these kick-ass masks in his house, and I can do that too, you know, I'll try, and I did, so, two years later, bam, this is, that's the product, you know, that's what happens if you practice a lot, and if you put your mind into something you really believe in, you will get far, I believe you, you know, believe it or not, you will get far. When I was little, I, I was about three. And my grandpa um, took me out to the airport, like almost like every other like time. And I dreamed about flying, and like that's what I do now. I'm actually like a student pilot, and um, yeah, so I got hooked on flying. And right now I'm at like about 17. And now I have about 125 hours of flying. And I started at the age of 13. And um, yeah. So that's how. Um, oh, and about mask making, like, I got inspired by you and a couple of other mask makers because, like, if you guys could do it, then I can too. And. Yeah, that's just being inspired, and like, I know I would start off with like, kind of, like, like I wouldn't be able to get the hang of it, that's what I thought, but I actually believed in myself, and try to strive for, like, you know, you probably get a lot, you probably get what I'm saying here, so, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's good, dude, and got and clap. Did make some pretty kick-ass masks. So yeah, um, I always wanted to know, like, um, are you like a PC user or like a Mac user? Like, what do you think is better, Mac or PC? Mac or PC? That's an interesting question. Um, believe it or not, I've actually never used a Mac computer before. But I've heard some good stuff about it. I heard that, you know, the the format of the whole, you know, desktop is really good. I heard that it doesn't get viruses. I don't know if that's true, but I don't know. And uh, there's no blue screen error, you know. If you guys use PC, you, you'll know what that is. So, I guess I'll say PC because that's the only thing I've used. But, you know, I could also say Mac, but I've never used it. I never owned a Mac. PC before, so I can't really, or Mac computer, sorry, I've never actually owned a Mac computer before, so I don't really know, but I'll say PC. Yeah, it was more of a um, P 
PC user myself, like when I was growing up, and then I ran into a, like a Mac. So I've bought my first Mac about two years ago, I think, about three years ago, and I just love this thing. It has a whole lot of features, and again, I have a laptop that's a PC, so yeah, I think I like both, but. Uh, my opinion is just my opinion. I, I kind of like Mac better and Just because I could do like when I'm doing it actually like it helps like it's it just makes my life easier like making the movies and stuff and I make a lot of animations you know that and Yeah, Mac is just there to help me and I try doing making my animation on PC and like all the time it just it sometimes it never worked for me I guess because like PC doesn't like me at all so um yeah anyways like you may you know you may get master also too I really like them myself and that's why I bought some of them you know and you guys probably seen those videos too anyways um do you think you will become famous in the future? When it comes to my future, um, my ambition is to actually work in the movies, you know. Um, I believe, uh, as an artist, uh, I'm pretty sure my masks won't be the only thing that will become famous in the future. I'm pretty sure my, um, my digital work, my photography maybe, my clay sculptures, you know, especially my paintings, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll get fame too, so, not just masks, and that's something you, you guys will need to know if you guys want to become an artist, you know, you can't just stick on one thing for the rest of your life, you know, if you, a true artist branches out, you know, and inspires other artists as well, so, you know, branch out. Yeah, I just like the fact that, like, being an artist, it just means, like, there's, a whole lot to do out there in the big world. So how do you feel about moving? Like, and coming out here to California? How do I feel about moving? Um, I, w I actually only have like probably about three weeks left here in Virginia. And um, I actually have mixed emotions. I'm definitely gonna miss my family here in Virginia. You know, my grandparents, aunts and uncles. You know, and my high school friends, of course, you know, my childhood friends. I'm going to miss them a lot, so I'm trying to spend time with them as much as I can, you know. But the good side is I'm starting a new life in California, you know, new people, new environment, you know, new friends. I'll make new friends, definitely. So, yeah, I can't wait to move, actually. you guys liking this um, interview, just uh, click anywhere on this video for part two of the video, okay? So we'll continue on there.